Hey guys, in this video I'll be making a comparison of PC and console gaming by comparing the pros and cons of each. First, we have the games. Xbox and PlayStation have a lot of exclusives, but overall PC has the better game library because they could download games from years ago and consoles don't support all generations of games between consoles. For example, some games on your PS3 might not be able to transfer into your PS5 or even PS4. If you search up a game on PC, you will most likely find it, no matter its age. Also, games are generally cheaper on PC, with Steam sales, Epic Game Deals, and Blizzard Deals. To access an online multiplayer, you would also often have to pay for that in consoles. In games, PC players can mod like in Minecraft or in GTA. Now this could be an advantage because of its creativity, but a disadvantage in that it might make the game annoying to play with people who are modding. Next, we have in-game graphics and settings. This is an easy win for PCs because they are capable of more frames. Now consoles like the Series X and PS5 are more than capable of running a lot of games at high FPS. It's just that if you're looking for a high FPS or a more graphically demanding PC, you can do that. With consoles, you're limited to what Sony and Microsoft are giving you. In games, you could also adjust the settings of the graphics quality to boost frame rates or you can increase the graphics quality, but that would come out of the cost of frames. On console, you could pick higher FPS option or lower quality. There aren't any precise settings if you want to balance the quality and FPS out. There's also customizability. You can customize any of the PC parts to your liking. If you have a PC that's more CPU intensive for CPU intensive games, you can pay more for that than a GPU, vice versa. If your games are running worse than a couple years ago, you could just upgrade one specific part of that PC. With a console, you would have to just deal with it or buy a new console. Not only the parts, you can also customize options in Windows that could benefit you in-game. For example, you can equalize your sound quality to hear footsteps better. You could use stretch resolution to see enemies better. You could adjust display settings like saturation and brightness to give you a visual advantage. PCs can be tuned to your liking. In games, there's also a lot of customization. Not just graphics quality, but things like shadows, effects, textures, etc. Next, we have ease of use, and this is easily won by the consoles. 1. You don't have to set anything up, just plug it in, and you're ready to go. PCs you have to build. Even pre builds are still hard to use for some because you will have to download a lot of stuff before you can download and play the game, like the launcher, updated drivers, and the game itself. Another thing for consoles, they generally have less issues because there aren't that many points of failures. On PCs, let's say you build it and something doesn't work, you have to replace many parts in order to figure out what's wrong. Learning all of the things in a PC would take some time as well, and many just want to play games, so why bother getting a PC? There's also the launcher issue. If you want to play Fortnite, then Warzone, then Valorant, you would have to use three different accounts from three different launchers. It's frustrating to not have everything in one place. Lastly, let's talk about price. So buying a $500 PC is definitely worse value than a $500 PS5 for example. But over time, the cost of games and the cost of online multiplayer would even it out. If you buy an $800 PC, that would be a lot better over time. Paying for console subscriptions and games would even it out. In the end, the $800 PC is more graphically capable, as well as able to do other things like editing videos, doing homework, and photo editing. But in the end, most would still go with a console for its upfront value and ease of use. But if you're willing to take the time to learn about PCs, it's definitely a route I would take. Most PC players usually play because they have a family computer at home, so why not? But over time, I think PCs are generally more worth it, and a lot of the stuff you learn about technology when you're in the PC world is actually really nice. So thanks for watching.